At this hour, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is holding a call with House members to gauge whether they are interested in impeaching the president. He only has 12 days left in his term in office, but as WBZ's Lisa Greshi tells us, momentum is building for something to be done. Massachusetts lawmakers are continuing the call to get President Trump out of office. This, as one presidential historian says, what happened at the Capitol will go down as a day of shame for our country, no matter what happens from here. Donald Trump needs to be removed from office, and we are going to proceed with every tool that we have to make sure that that happens to protect our democracy. It's been two days since pro-Trump groups stormed the Capitol, and the push to hold President Trump accountable is only getting stronger. For the first time since the War of 1812, uh, our Capitol was put under siege. Because you'll never take back our country with weakness. The fact that it was launched by the sitting president of the United States, well, it's astonishing. Presidential historian and author Tom Whalen comparing President Trump's behavior to Nixon in the final days of his presidency after Watergate. Nixon was in a state of mind that, frankly, was not rational. Even though there's two weeks remaining, unfortunately, I think President Trump really has become an existential threat to the uh, future of our republic. Would you support the 25th Amendment? In order to invoke the 25th Amendment, it starts with Vice President Mike Pence. He would need a majority of Trump's cabinet to agree the president is unfit for office, then temporarily seize power from him. If challenged by the president, Congress would have the final say. What my focus is now and the focus of the Democratic caucus is how do we secure our country? The problem is the cabinet is filled with Trump's yes men and hangers on and I'm not sure they have that kind of political courage to pull it off. Lawmakers only have 12 days until President Trump's term ends. Reporting in Cambridge, Lisa Greshi, WBC News.